He's a former middle school principal, an education advocate raised in Harlem who defeated a 16 term incumbent, Elliot Engel, last year in New York's 16th congressional district. Please welcome one of the newest members of the squad, Congressman Jamal Bowman. Peace and love. What's up, everyone? How y'all doing? <laughs> Good. How how are you? Are you tired of Congress yet, Congressman? No, uh, not yet. Um, still, uh, still pretty good, you know, despite the, you know, uh, build back better negotiations and, you know, still way too much money going to war and uh, not enough focus on poor black and brown people. Uh, but we're, we're getting there. We're, we're working. We're, we're doing the work. I mean, you having worked in education and with children, it's like, I feel like it's going to take a lot for you to get tired you know <laughs> yeah you know I've, people have been asking me the last uh couple of weeks like what's harder uh congress or being a middle school principal and it's being a middle school principal hands <laughs> down um you know congress behaves like middle schoolers but when you're actually a middle school principal you like have hundreds of kids in your care that you're responsible for and if one gets hurt or worse it's on you so there's there's no pressure like that type of pressure. Sure. But we you are now representing a whole lot of Americans in, in the halls of Congress. So, I mean, in a way, not that you'd ever want to say that your, <laughs> your, your district or children, but you, you, you do have a responsibility and it's a lot. And you, you know, it's almost been a year or, or how many months are we into your term now? Nine months officially. Uh, okay. but in the district, you know, when you win the primary, you're kind of in, um, so we did have a general, didn't take that for granted. Um, and after November, after the November general, we kind of got started. I went to Washington, did orientation on, and all of that. So yeah. nine years, nine months officially, but about a year unofficially. Yeah. And you're, I want to talk about some of the like amendments you've introduced. You're not, you know, sitting on your laurels at all. You're really active and out in front. And I see still in your district, but I want to talk about the Build Back Better Act, which is again, this, the second piece of this infrastructure bill, you know, that includes so many really game changing things for working Americans were it to pass. What do you, if it does pass, what would it mean for your district? What would it mean for the people that you represent? Yeah, so it would be transformative. It would transform their lives uh, overnight uh, in, in the same way that the child tax credit that we've already uh, passed and extended through December is transforming uh, lives in my district. So um, it's going to pass. Um, what, what's, what the question is, you know, at what uh, amount in terms of top line number, but also uh, which programs are we going to be able to implement? So we're pushing for everything as we should be, um, because 3.5 was the compromise. It was six or 12 or 16, depending on um, who you speak to. But it would be it would be transformative. It would be investments in public housing, which haven't happened in over a decade. Investments in affordable housing, which is critical now that you know COVID has. Uh, made so many more millions uh, housing insecure. Um, yeah. Additional investments in workforce development, which is what we need at this time because so many have lost their jobs. Investments in home care, child care, lowering prescription drugs, 3K programs. In a district like mine where you have pockets with poverty rates as high as uh, 20% and over 50% of people severely rent and mortgage burdened, um, it would be it would it would transform lives and and I can't wait for us to get this done. Yeah, especially I mean I, I was just in New York and I'm just like floored by the amount of gentrification you know since when I lived there only ten years ago. But it's just like it's a huge issue for I know your district in addition to so many other things. What do you make of you know you joined the Congressional Progressive Caucus? It's been largely symbolic, but now under the leadership of someone like Representative Pramila Jayapal. You know, you guys are throwing your weight around, um, you know, sort of making sure that you pass this, you know, this infrastructure or the reconciliation bill, the Build Back Better Act, in addition to what Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema want. So how does that feel? Do you feel like um, 
you know, that someone like yourself, like growing the squad has had real impact? Are you seeing that? Do you feel like even someone like, like you being there um, has emboldened folks like Representative Jayapal? Yeah, I, I feel very uh, privileged and inspired to be in Congress and to be a member of the CEPC, especially in this moment. I mean, we have to understand there were no negotiations happening at all. We were simply mm -hmm. going to do the hard infrastructure bill and take whatever crumbs we can get on the human infrastructure, human infrastructure side of it. But the CPC, CPC and, and under Pramila's leadership, we were very transparent with our priorities very early on. Um, Congresswoman, Chairwoman Jayapal was in constant communication with uh, Senator Sanders, Senator Schumer, Speaker Pelosi in the White House. Um, and we were, con we were very clear on where we stood and, and we were all behind her 100%. And it wasn't just us, it wasn't just the CPC. The speaker was on board, the president was on board. We were actually leading the charge uh, in terms of the president's agenda. Agenda. We were out front on that. So it's been really exciting um, and yeah. inspiring to, to, to be a part of it. And yeah, you know, not, not just uh, myself and the squad, but the progressive movement on the outside continuing to engage uh, in electoral politics, engage in movement building, uh, engage in the work, I think is, is shifted, you know, leadership in Congress more to the left, which is a really exciting thing. Absolutely. I mean, you've been on the outside as an advocate as well. And I mean, there were dark days and even in just when I was coming up as an activist, we had no faith in the political process. You know, there was no kind of squad. There was no like, who's your favorite congressperson? It was like, what are you talking about? You know, and I think, you know, that can get there's a double edged sword there. A lot of people hate the idea that there's a celebrity dumb to someone like, you know, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. But I mean, I don't know. Personally, I'm just speaking from personal opinion. I think that's good. I think we should know our Congress people. We should like, um, you know, we shouldn't put them necessarily on that, on a pedestal of untouchability, but it's good to know them. It's good to like watch their moves, what they're doing, you know, have, have a more direct line and have some faith. Um, that being said, if you were to go to the Met Gala, Congressman, what would your dress say? Like, what would you, <laughs> what, what would I say? Um, it would say uh, babies over billionaires. Um, something. It would say something like that. I like uh, that. And stay tuned for legislation bearing the same name coming soon. I, I just gave you a tease. Uh oh. Uh, babies over billionaires coming soon. But that. But that's what my 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 suit would say. And I assume that has something to do with uh, early child care. Or yes. Yeah. Yes, it, it has something to do with the the real health and well being and future of our democracy and our planet, not what you know my more moderate and conservative colleagues think is the future, which is rooted in you know Elon Musk uh, and Richard Branson traveling in space while people are getting shot in my district and killed. What's going on, Fran Tifa? If you haven't already. Subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.